All right. Well, it, you know, they say, my father taught me this, uh, if you're a candidate for any office, never be late. Be on time, be prompt, and be respectful of people's time. So I'll do that. First of all, I really appreciate everybody coming together as the Molevsky for Judge Committee kicks off its campaign for Branch 2 here in Portage County. We thank Judge Shannon for his service to this county, and we wish him well in his retirement. I look forward to serving the people of Portage County in that branch, a branch that my uncle John Finn served in for many, many years. He was a mentor to me. He's someone that swore me into the assembly on the very steps out here, swore me into DA, and he taught me a lot about being a public servant. A public servant must put the public first, always, and must understand that what you do has the effects on the public. I want to thank my treasurer, Jan Way, who's also here, who's helping with the, the campaign. Uh, because I'm running for judge, I can't ask for donations. Jane, Jan will uh, do all that and the committee. And if you want to be interested in our campaign, go to MolevskyForJudge.com. There you'll find updates and the campaign set we put together. Why am I running? I want to continue my service uh, for public service. As city attorney, state legislator, and district attorney, I gave to this community because the community gave me so much. An education in Catholic and public school, an education in the Wisconsin uh, University system, an education at Marquette University. Great institutions that deserve our support. As judge, you have to work with the public to resolve disputes. You have to do so with justice in mind at all times. You must do it with justice and fair play. We are at a crossroads, ladies and gentlemen, in our society. The rule of law is being questioned. Steady leadership now, more than ever, is needed. We must be transparent. As, as your judge and branch to be transparent, open, to the litigants before me, always treating them with dignity and respect, to the prosecutors, to the defense attorneys, listening to their cases fairly, without my undue influence, such that the justice prevails in that particular case. For our civil litigants, you should be, you should be assured that when you have a civil issue, whether it's a starting a business, Oh, just a second, buddy. <laughs> my son. Starting a business for those difficult times in life in, in marital uh, law, family law. If you have that joyous occasion of adoption or a marriage, a circuit court judge handles those actions. A circuit court judge must be steady and always, always understand that you represent the office of judge. You have a sacred duty and oath to that position and when you put on that role, that you do so in the interest of everyone, not your self-interest. I'm also running for these people. Right here. My son, Louis, the third. <laughs> Julia and Henrik. These are the future of Portage County, right here. And your children, and your neighbor's children. We must ensure in the criminal law that these children are protected from those that would harm them, as judge, you have a tremendous amount of opportunity to make sure that children are protected. You also have a tremendous opportunity when children grow, and if they develop drug and alcohol problems, if they have mental health problems, that you treat them with dignity and respect as we've begun in Portage County when I helped create the Portage County Drug Court. That court now, instead of throwing someone in prison, forgetting who they are as a person, tries to give them the tools to be sober. We also had the opportunity for those with mental health afflictions. This is a truly a, a problem in this community. And I know people that are here, I know friends, family, that have mental health uh, problems and afflictions. Those people should be treated with such respect in the court system that a judge can do. A judge can make determinations that instead of, for example, in a criminal case, incarceration, that there is diversion. And that's why I, as district attorney, created Wisconsin, Portage County's first adult drug court. Excuse me, diversion program. <laughs> Why? Because we believe, as our state representative is here, Katrina Shanklin and others, that giving people a second chance is, is worth it. And when the people of this county said in an 80% vote that they didn't want my office to prosecute THC, marijuana-related offenses, we took that to heart. We reduced our prosecution. We did non-criminal dispositions. We worked with our city and county to make sure that there was a forfeiture uh, related issues, and we held those that make profit on those pe on people who are using illicit controlled substances. We focus our attention on those individuals. I thank you today for being here. There's a lot to do. This campaign's just starting. The election is April 5th of 2022, 
with the primary in February if, there's need, if there is going to be one, if there's more than three candidates, that is. I really appreciate your support for being here. It means a lot. Do you have anything to say, Louie? <laughs> no. <laughs> Julia? Yeah. No. <laughs> well, to all of you, thank you.